Hi, Mr. C here. Um, last time we left off on the balance beam project, we had Mr. P. He spray painted the legs to the base of the balance beam, and now the next step is to wrap the foam, which he has chosen to go ahead and use a neoprene that he felt it was a little bit better for what his daughters need. So right now I want to do is lay out the piece of neoprene and the cuts for the end. Now, after I took the dimension, on a balance beam, the proper dimension is four inches in width. Okay, so we have four inches in width, and then the depth is five and a half inches. So we take all that and we want to wrap it one inch on either side, the left and right side. We need 17 inches in width. So that's what I've done here is I've cut this to 17 inches in width. So what I want to do is, is I want to place a ruler on here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark the exact center on here. So now I'm going to go ahead and lay out my cut for the end on the neoprene because we are splicing this in two separate pieces to go the whole length because the uh, place that he purchased the neoprene from does not have a full nine foot length. So, and besides, if they did, it probably cost him a significantly more. We are going to go ahead and seam this together, but we are going to use a contact adhesive to make sure that the seam is good and it's not going to make a big difference. So now what I'm going to do is, is I'm just going to set um, my combination square to the length I need. But first, what I'm going to do is, is I found the exact center. I'm going to measure over two inches. I mark that with a line. Two inches on this side. Mark that with a line. So now I have the four inches between my two thumbs. And this is the end, the length, the width of the end. Because we're going to have it wrap over the end of this. Now the length of the side is five and a half inches. I set this at six and a half. The reason why I did that is because I want to have enough room to go ahead and staple from underneath. And what I'm doing is I'm going to take this right to the edge of the bench. And I'm going to make sure this is flush to the edge. And this mat board is all measured out so it's square. So I know we're all set. I'm going to go ahead and take and place this on here. Now I'm going to have my six and a half inches. I'm just going to go ahead, draw my line here. And I'm going to go right in the top, going this way, because I'm going to cut this square off here. And you're going to want to try not to stretch this out, okay? And I'm going to mark the other side, or mark the end here. And what I'm going to use is I'm going to use a ruler to make sure all the lines are on the same plane. Okay, now I am going to use a scalpel. Now the scalpel has to be, you have to be very, very careful with this, extremely sharp. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to go ahead and cut down toward myself. And I'm not pushing hard at all. Okay, I'm going to go ahead, over this way. And I'm using my ruler as a, as a straight edge, so that way I know I'm going perfectly straight. Okay. 
Okay. Move my pencil all the way. If you're not applying pressure either, it cuts really easily. Just need a little bit more. Okay, so that piece is cut. Now I'm going ahead and cut my edge exactly like this. Now what's going to happen here is it's going to fold over the end and wrap around the side. Now what I want to do is, is I did take the liberty to putting together and preparing the first half. So let me take you over. Let me explain. As you can see, I just wrapped the end over, and then this has room for the staples underneath. Then these can be stapled as well. Then the um, suede can go on top of this. So just going ahead, just wrap that over, wrap that over. Now, what we have to do is, is I have to double check the length of this. I'll put it together. I'll put the other end on, and then any overlapping, I'll cut off. Then we can go ahead and prepare this with some double, um, some adhesive, contact adhesive. And we can go ahead and staple this on, and then we'll be ready for the, the uh, suede. All right. So this is the neoprene step being cut out and prepped for the balance beam. So just a few steps left. As I said before, the construction portion is done, but remember it's all in the details. So as long as we make sure that this is wrapped on there with no, no seams, no buckles, no, no wrinkles, this will turn out fantastic and they're going to have it for years and years and years to enjoy. So until next time, I'm Mr. C. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, kind of like my logo, okay? All right, bye.